あいいですね,<笑>ねちょっとなんか真夏がやってきたみたいじゃないですちょっと暑いですね。Like summer, ね so、ね名古屋も意外に寒いからこの暖かい時期を皆さん楽しみましょう。But, um, even if we are going... はい。そして来週の日曜日はあの下で、えー、ピクニックをしたいと思っております。Week, 下でピクニック。一応下はあのドッグカフェになっておりまして。Actually, is a dog cafe. ね、家族、動物って、ね、もう家族の一員でしょ。家族の一員でしょ。So, like, なのであの動物連れてきて、OK、ということにしました。So、to to <笑>お猿飼ってる人とかいる猿いない違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。いや、違うか。33節です。So today's scripture is in Matthew chapter 14:22 to 33. えっとじゃあ日本語だけですけれども読みたいと思います。英語の人はノートやパワーポイントを見てほしいなと思います。So we are going to read only in, in Japanese. So please、uh, look at your notes in, in your own language.、Yes. はい。それからすぐイエスは弟子たちを強いて船に乗り込ませて、自分より先に向こうの岸へ行かせ。その間に群衆を返してしまわれた。群衆を返した後で祈るために一人で山にイエス様は登ります。夕方になったがまだそこに一人でおられた。しかし船は陸からもう何キロメートルも離れていたが風が向かい風なので波に悩まされていました。すると夜中の3時ごろイエスは海の湖の上を歩いて彼らのとこに行かれた。弟子たちはイエスが水の湖の上を降りておられるのを見てあれは幽霊だと言って怯えて,怯えてしまい恐ろしさのあまり叫び声を上げたしかしイエスはすぐに彼らに話しかけしっかりしなさい私だ恐れることはないと言われたするとペテロが答えていたもし主よもしあなたでしたら私に水の上を歩いてここまで来る来いとお命じになってくださいイエスは来なさいと言われたそこでペテロは船から出て水の上を歩いてイエスの方に行ったところが風を見て怖くなり涼みかけたので叫び出して「主を助けてください」と言ったそこでイエスはすぐ手を伸ばして彼を掴んで言われた「信仰の薄い人だななぜ疑うのか」そして2人が船に乗り移ると風が止んだ、うん、そこで船の中にいた者たちはイエスを拝んで「確かにあなたは神の子です」と言った。Amen. Amen. Amen. ではお祈りしたいと思います。Let's pray. 様今日も私たちあなたを礼拝しに来ました。Lord, we came today again to worship you. 様今日本当にあなたの御言葉を聞きに来ました。We came to listen to your words. どうぞ私に語ってください。Please speak to me. 教えてください。Please teach me. 心を開きます。I open my heart. あなたの言葉を本当信仰を持って受け取りながら。聞くことができるように助けてください。Help me to open my hearts and receive your word with faith. もし何か今思い煩いの中にいる人がいたら、今、今、重荷を下ろすことができますように、神様、助けてください。If、uh, there's anyone with burdens and feeling weary or worried, please help them to put down their burdens. 今何か体に痛みや、精神的に何か、苦しみがある人がいるなら、主を今日あなたがそこに触れてくださるようにお願いします。For those made,、uh, emotional conflicts or、uh, physical pains, Lord, please visit them right now. Yes, 様のお名前でお祈りします。In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
、えー、とこの箇所は本当に有名な箇所です。This scripture is really famous. えー、と5つのパンと2匹の魚でイエス様が5000人の男の人たちを満足させた次の話です。It's the next story after the feeding of the 5000 when Jesus multiplied the loaves and the fish. はい。もうあの聖書ってね、もう奇跡の。奇跡、奇跡、奇跡ですよね。奇跡が。The Bible, you can see it closer. It's full of miracles. ね、そしてこう本当に五千人五つのパンと二匹の魚で満足させるのかなと疑いながら私たちはあのこう読んでしまうわけです。And sometimes we tend to read the, the scripture saying, look, is it really true that the, Jesus fed 5, people with only five loaves of bread and two fishes? で,でここの箇所もあ水の上を歩くって本当かなと思いながら読むわけです。私たち聖書を読むときに、また人々のこう素晴らしい話を聞くときに、ああ、こんな奇跡が自分に起こったらいいなって。思いませんか Sometimes when we read stories like this or we hear testimonies, we are like, I wish those things happened to me too, don't we? 思いませんか don't, don't you? イエス様、今すぐ水の上を歩いて私のところに助けに来てほしいって私は呼ん,じ呼んでしまいますね。Sometimes I read the scripture like, I wish Jesus were walking on the water just to save me in this situation.、ねみんなみんなそうだと思います。Like、奇跡を見たい。We want to see miracles. 私の人生に奇跡が起こってほしい。I want miracles to happen in my life. 聖書を読むときに、どこどこ私の奇跡、どこどこって読んじゃうんです。We were reading the Bible, we were like, where's my miracle? Where's my miracle? そして信仰生活、イエス様、いつ来るんだろう私の問題を解決しに、ウルトラマンのように、いつ助けに来てくれるのえ、まだまだまだって時代と思うんです。<笑> In our walk with God, sometimes we are like, well, where is my miracle now? Where, when Jesus is coming like a superman and going to save me from the situation? そして誰かの素晴らしい話が聞けると、あの人が結婚したとか。あの人が彼氏ができたとか、あの人にが昇給したとか、なんかいいポストにつけたとか聞くと、あれあれ、私には、ね、ネタ見やら、心が騒ぎ出すわけです。あれあれあれっつって。And sometimes when you hear the news from other people, like they got married, they got engaged, they got a, a, like a successful career, they got promoted, you were like, okay, but what about me? でも今日もう一度あの。奇跡って何かお話ししたい。But today I want to talk to you what miracle is. 奇跡とは神様が一方的に働かれることです。Miracle is something that is a, a work, a one-way work from God, a unilateral work from God.、ね、で、皆さんの人生に本当にその神様が一方的に働いているっていうことが本当にないですかと私は聞きたいです。So I wanted to ask you, is this God who works unilaterally miracles not working in your life? ないですか He's not working? 皆さん、生まれましたね、この地上に。Look, you were born right in this earth. 先週ね、午後ね、長井先生のティーチングがありましたけど、みんな、あナンバーワンとして生き、このお腹の中でお,かのお,腹の、ね、お,やお母さんのお腹の中で戦ってみんな一等賞として生まれた人たちみんなナンバーワンだという話をしまし聞きましたね。So last week we have the teaching with Pastor Nagai, and he was saying that we all are winners already because when we are in the, the womb of our mother, we already fought to be number one in order to actually、uh, become a baby or get born. 私結婚あの人生まあ数十年なんですけどここまで来て数十年 well, I have a few years in this life you know? <笑>はいあの一番神秘的だなと思ったのが出産なんですよ So the, the moment more divine that I found in my life was the moment of my delivery なぜかというと自分の体から生きたものが出てくるわけです<笑> Because a living thing was getting out of my body <笑>よく考えて Think carefully. めちゃくちゃすごいことしたよね。<笑> This is amazing, isn't it? It's great. だから出産した人が偉いとかそういう話をしたいんじゃないですか。So I'm not telling、ね、you that、uh, the people who delivered babies were amazing and those who, were, who didn't were not. 私たちはもう奇跡に、神の奇跡によって生まれたんです。We were already born in a miracle, by a miracle, by a miracle. 隣の人は神様の奇跡によって作られた作品なんです。The 
person around you were already made by a miracle by God. だから私はミラクルによって存在したんだってことを今日一番知らないといけないと思います。隣の人、今日初めてかもしれないけど、こう伝えてほしい。あなたは神様の奇跡の作品だって。ちょっと言ってあげて。あなたはミラクル。あなたは奇跡によって生まれた。You were born by a miracle. You were a miracle masterpiece. Of God. 私たちね、これをね、人生の中で横に置くんです。Sometimes we kind of leave this truth じゃないですか、もっと仕事を、もっと友達を、もっと綺麗にい。いいよ、いいよ、大事。<笑> we think like, no, I have to have a better job, I have to be more beautiful, I have to do this and that. でも、okay, 奇跡を忘れて、付け加える言葉が考えたら、私たちは本当に疲れきります。But if we forget the true miracle and start only focusing on the additions, we start getting tired. The fact you are alive is a miracle. The fact you were born, you are a miracle. The truth that you met Jesus is a miracle. To meet these people around you is a miracle. いや癒しも実りも奇跡なんです。To bear fruits is a miracle. 全部神様が一方的にタダでくれたんですよ。It's all miracles given by God for free. 私たちこれをいつも噛みしめ、これを人生で選んでいくなら。本当に人と比べる必要がなくなってきます。他人の人生、羨む必要ありません。ね、なので私たちは本当に何にフォーカスをするのか、すごく重要です、人生で。So in life it's really important. What, all, uh, what we focus on is really important to know. 奇跡を求めるのか。主を求めているのか、ね、今日この,このペテロが水の上を歩いてイエス様が水の上を歩いてこられたこの記事から3つ教えられたいと思います。So this, uh, 1つ目ね、奇跡とか出来事、わからないこと、理解できないことを皆さん恐れないでください。Do not be afraid of what you under, don't understand the miracles, the healings, and so on. 25節にイエス様は真夜中の3時に水の湖の上を歩いて、えー、弟子たちの船に行きます。In Matthew 14 25 says, in the, in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. これね、まだ夜が、あえっと、まだ日が暮れてない時に弟子たちをイエス様は船に乗らないで、弟子だけを船に乗り込ませて向こうに行きなさいっておっしゃるんです。Before the dawn, Jesus asked the, the disciples, the made the disciples to go on a boat and sail it to the other side. 私、ここの記事を読むときに、何のためにこの記事があるのかなってちょっと思ったんです。So、なんか強制的に弟子だけ船に乗って、イエス様は陸にいて、なんでって思う。なんでって思いません一緒に乗って一緒に乗ってよ。イエス様だからね、これからね、嵐が来るなんてね、知ってるわけですよ。そこに「強いて」って書いてましたよ、さっき読んだ。ですその時に、ね、皆さん思いませんなんで夜中3時までイエス様ほっとくのって。And we were like, why Jesus left them until 3 a.m. You know, during the night and midnight? Like, left them! そう思いません私たちそう言うでしょ私ほっとかんといて。
私のこと一番関心持って祈りに答えて。Like, answer when I pray, please. I need to answer. So, 私たち本当ペテロたちと一緒ですよ。We're just like Peter's. イエス様に言うんです。なんで3時 So why three in the morning? なんで疲れるまでほっとくの Why are you going to leave me until I get really tired of it? ね、そして弟子たちはどう思ったかって言ったら、エス様が歩いてきます。向こうから歩いてくる方を幽霊だと言うんです。They see the silhouette of Jesus walking in the water and they think a ghost. ghost. A ghost. 皆さんに伝えたいけど、嵐や問題ばっか見てると、イエス様が見えなくなるんですよ。If you focus too much on the storm, on the problems, you lose sight of Jesus. You can't understand. If you focus too much on the things that, on the whys, why it's happening like this, why it's going like this, you will lose sight of Jesus. You will not realize that He's walking towards you. だから私たちは本当にこの日常の中で神様を本当に見つけていく必要がある。That's why in our daily lives we have to find Jesus in every, in everywhere. 神様ってどこにいるんですか Where is God? どこにでもいるんです。He's everywhere. いつ祈りを聞いてくれるんですか When you're going to listen to my いつでも聞いてるんです。He's always listening to it. あなたを一人にすると言いましたか聖書で一箇所でも。He, 教えてほしい。Say, he will abandon you. Tell me. あなたと共にいるとおっしゃいます。No, he says, I'm with you. これを横に置くと私たちは嵐しか見えなくなるんです。When we leave this truth, To the side. なので、We、only on なのでイエスが誰か、これが一番大事なポイントなんです。So、the most important thing is for us to know who Jesus is. あのちょっと話はずれるんですけど、It's going to be a, a little side story. 病院行くの嫌いな人います Is there anyone here who hates hospital, hates going to the hospital? 結構いるよね。We are many. 病院行ったら悪いところが見つかるから病院嫌いじゃない Sometimes we hate going to hospitals because when you go there, you find the, what is bad in you, right? And even the child, the child, the children, when they go for the、uh, Even when they go for a shot, you, you tell the, the baby, look, it's not going to hurt. It is. But、yeah. you tell them it's not going to hurt. Good news をお伝えしたい。But let me tell you a really good news for those who hate shots and hate hospitals. 注射はあなたのためです。The shot is for your、はい、own good.、はい、病院にはあなたの味方しかいません。In the hospital, there are only allies. 怖いじゃあ病院がそう聞いたら。Scary, right? it's, it's so scary, the hospitals. ね、先生がどうのこうの注射が怖い、手術が怖いって分かる。私も2回手術してるから。The, the doctor is scary, like the shots, we don't want to have shots or get operated, but you know, I, I got operated two times.、ね、でも、母親が看護師だったから、私にとって病院はもういつもすごい行きたい場所だった、小さい時から。母親がいるから。Because my mom was a nurse, I, the hospital was a place I always loved to go. でも私、何が言いたいかって言ったら、先生はどういう人かっていうことをちゃんと伝えたら、私たちの病院嫌いや注射嫌いは変わるんです。But what I want to tell you is this: if you know who the doctor is, this, this、uh, feeling that you don't like to go to hospital will fade. 病院はあなたを治すために、すべての先生の知恵を働かせて、あなたのためにもう医療を最善にしてくれる場所です。So, the hospital is the place where they, they get the, the optimal way to make you feel better, to heal you. So, don't be afraid of、uh, hospitals. So, don't be afraid of hospitals. So, don't be afraid of hospitals. 
So if you are <coughs> as scared of the, the trials and the storm as you are of the shots in the hospital, you start seeing Jesus as a ghost. But then why Jesus made them go through the storm? This really tough time. It's a training. It's the disciple training from Jesus. Actually, we cannot know who we really are until we decide to follow Jesus wherever he takes us or he calls us. Through the trials, the problems, the storms, we actually can see who we are really relying on in our lives. We can see clearly if that person who is always complaining is actually relying on God or not. Let's say there was a, a dirty water in a cup. Right? So when the mud is sinking in, like it's sinked in, you see the water uh, up, like it's really clear. But when you shake it, you can see that the this uh, water and the mud get all mixed up and you see how cloudy it actually is. なので、試練や嵐の中っていうのは、まるでこの泥水、水が綺麗だなと思ってた水が動かされる時なんです。So trials in our lives is just like this shaking that's happening to see what actually is inside. そこに、あ、こんな汚いものがあるんだって見せられる瞬間です。It's the moment where you find how cloudy, how messy things are. で、汚い、汚い、私はこんなんじゃないって言うんじゃなくて、イエス様。and instead of saying, oh, this is so dirty, I don't want, I, I, I'm not like that, you can say, Jesus, take this water, like, purify me. You don't need to keep den denying yourself, saying, oh, no, I, I don't have any mud in my, in my water. We can pray and repent the fact that we were having, we are relying on things that were not God. So whenever you get shaken by the trials, by the, tr the, the worries, by the, by the problems, Jesus will come up to you and he will walk towards you. Whenever one was saying Jesus was a ghost, Jesus told them, spoke to them, do not be afraid, have courage. This word do not be afraid in original Greek is the word samson, which means to have courage. And his word, it is I that he says is, is from the ex Exodus 3.14 that says, I am who I am. Have courage. It's me. In Exodus 3.14 says the name of, of God says I am who I am. I want you to receive this truth that Jesus is right there in the middle of the storm with you. Even though there are things we cannot see through, through the storms, you can pray, God, please show me. 
わからない中に主をあなたがおられることを教えてくださいって求めてほしいです。Instead of saying I don't know and doubting him, you can pray God help me to see where you are. はい、そしてイエス様はそのペテルに対して何とおっしゃったか。And what Jesus said to this Peter, 二つ目、来なさいとおっしゃいました。Second point, come. 来なさい、come. この言葉いいですね。So nice, isn't it? 皆さん、今日あなたをイエス様は。同じことを言っていらっしゃいますよ。Jesus is saying to you the same thing right now. 私のところに来なさい。Come to me. 私のところに来なさい。Come to me. 28節、ペテロが言いました。もしあなたでしたら私に水の上歩いてきてください。イエスは言われた。来なさい。そしてペテロは船から出て、水の上を歩いてイエスの方に歩いていった。Matthew 14, 28 and 29, and Peter answered him, Lord, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. まだね、この時ね、ペテロは、イエス様か幽霊かがまだわからないんだと思うんですよ。Right this どっちか怪しい。I think that Peter didn't know yet if it was Jesus or if it was a ghost. なぜならもしあなただったらって言ってますよね。Why? Because it say if it's you. ここまだ確信ないんですよ。He's not certain yet. そりゃそう、そ私もそうもそりゃそうだよねって。Of course, like I, I kind of don't understand. I relate to. 常識的に水の上は歩けないよね。Because if you go through the common sense, it's not normal to walk on the water. だからペテロは。神様を常識の中に入れていたんですよ。So Peter was still putting God on the common sense that he had in his mind. 僕の方が船乗りだし、波のことを知ってるし、歩いてくるのは幽霊しかないというふうにもう,もう汚染されてるわけです。He already was brainwashed like I'm a fisherman, I'm already experienced, I know that nothing can walk on the water if it's not a ghost. だからペテロは確かめた。That's why he was、uh, trying to check. もしイエス様だったらこう言って言うかも。If it's Jesus, it's going to tell me to come. で来なさいって言ってって言ったら。And when he says, command me to come. ねイエス様来なさいと言った。Jesus said, come. うわーとこれ神様じゃんってやっとわかった。He finally understood. It's Jesus. 皆さんにお伝えしたい。本当にあなたが確信が来るまで祈り求めましょう。So I want to tell you, keep praying until you feel the certainty in your heart. 確信が来るまで求め続けてください。Keep seeking for it until you feel the certainty in your heart. この人がどう言うかな、あの人がこう言ってたかな、僕の経験はじゃなくて、私にこう語ってください、こう教えてくださいと求めてほしいんです。Instead of thinking, oh, that person thinks like this, that person said like that, you can say, God, please tell, speak to my heart until I understand. まあでもさ、これすっごい嵐と夜中の三時の嵐の中だと想像してこんな会話してたんですよ。It's in the middle of the night. 来なさい、言ってください。In the middle of a storm and they're having this conversation like Jesus command me to come and Jesus saying come. でもねペドはその言葉だけもらって船から出たんですよ。And you know Peter received this word and he got off the boat. 皆さんよく知ってほしいんだけど、I want you to know this. 漁師はペテロね。The Peter, who was a fisherman, the fisherman would he ever leave the boat? Fisherman would stay in the boat, wouldn't he? he he's doing something really unimaginable. The things that are outside of the boat are the fish. 漁師が船から出るってことはありえないんです。It's, it's unthinkable to see a fisherman just living, getting off the boat. ペテロにとって波の怖さは一番わかるんです。He was the one who understood the most, the, how dangerous was the waves. この風がどう動くかもわかるんです。He understood the ways of the wind. 危険かどうかもペテロが一番わかってるんです。He was the most experienced one. He knew what was dangerous. それを参考にしていたら、自ら水の中に入るっていうのは絶対ないことでしょう。And if he took a sample of his own experience, he would never got off the The boat. でも彼はイエス様が来なさいという言葉だけを信頼して歩き始めたんです。But he got off the boat only by the word of Jesus, believing, trusting, and relying on the word of Jesus. さて、イエス様が何を求めておられるんでしょう Now, what is Jesus、uh, asking for from us? 私たちはどうやってなぜを求めがちです 
We always think, tend to think on the why and how. イエス様はそこには答えを持っておられないような気がします。And I believe that Jesus is not going to answer you on that specific question. イエス様が求めておられるのは、私が言った言葉だけを信頼して、この言葉だけについてきなさいとおっしゃるんです。What Jesus wants is for us to listen to what he said, and he wants to see if we are going to actually follow and obey what he said. So, and if we do so, he will take us to places we've never been, take us to experience, and to walk on places that we never did before. 皆さんにとって私たちにとって、ね、船のような安全な場所に私たちはいたいと思います。We all want to stay in the safety place, which is the boat. 安全な船皆さん持ってるでしょ ?We all have like the safe boat. ね、多分たくさんの荷物が乗ってると思います。Maybe there's a lot of stuff in this boat. 必要なもの、必要じゃないものもいっぱい乗ってるように思う。Maybe in this boat there's a lot of things that you don't even need. それはある人にとったら、私の経験が自分の安全な船かもしれない。Maybe your safe boat is your experience. あなたのこの一般常識があなたの安全な船かもしれない。Maybe your common sense. あなたのいる場所が安全な場所だったら主が今日おっしゃいます。Maybe if you are in the safe space in your life right now, God is speaking to you. 私の声を聞いて、私のところに、ね、船を出てきなさいって。Get out of the boat and come following my voice. でも、ペトロ歩き出した後どうなりました But what happened then after Peter just got off the boat? イエ,スのところイエス様のところまで歩けましたか Was he able to finish the walk towards Jesus? He started to sing. He started to sing. He's written here like clearly. He started to sing. めっちゃ美味しいとこ持ってるなと思うね。It's like, oh, thank God for leaving this. もしね、このままペトロが、あ、別にパパパパ歩いてない、様とか言ったらね、私たちね、あ、そりゃ無理やわと思うのよね。If he was able to finish the walk towards Jesus and just lift it there, we would be like, oh, that would be impossible for me. でもペトロが信仰持って一歩踏み出したけど、もう一回嵐や波を見て怖くなって沈んだっていうところに私はもうペテロありがとうと思うわけです。<笑> so when Peter start the first step in faith and then he start to sink in, I was like, thank you Peter for living this. もう友達。<笑> We are just friends, besties。私と一緒。The same as me. Like the 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 You started it so well, but then you started sinking in. You're so weak, no one is going to help you. But what Jesus did to Peter? Ah, you sinked in. Sinking is weak, right? He taught him, oh, you of a little faith. でもイエス様はどうします？彼の手を取って引き上げました。But what did Jesus do? He took, he reached out his hand and took hold of him. そしてマタイの十六の十八、こうペトロにこう言います。私はこの岩の上に私の教会を建てます。読みの門もそれに打ち勝つことはできませんとペテロをそのような人だとおっしゃってくださった。Matthew 16, 18 says that I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus is not looking for flawless people. He's not looking for people who can understand it all, who knows it all. He's not looking for people who can understand it all. He's looking for people who will get off the boat after listening and hearing the voice of Jesus and will just obey it. 
そしてあなたの上に教会を主は建てるとおっしゃいます。Saying, 皆さん、知ったから失敗とかを恐れることは必要ないというのはここの理由があるんです。So、そして主はこうおっしゃいます。そこから出てきなさいとおっしゃる。船から出てきなさい。Get out of the boat. イエス様は<笑>。この、ね、船に乗り込ましたときに嵐や波があることはもうご存知でした。ね、でも、ペテロや弟子たちがをイエス様はあえてそこに送り出したということは本当に私だけを見ることを主は何度もこのことを通して教えたかったんだと思います。ね、船から皆さん出るということは勇気がいることです。慣れた住まい、慣れた環境から出るということは本当に何があるかわからないから怖いことです。To leave the place of the familiar and go into a place of the unknown is scary. あなたの慣れた考え方から出ることには勇気がいると思います。To let go of the mindset you had before for a long time is difficult. でも、主はおっしゃる。But the Lord is saying, 私のところに来てほしい。Come to me. あなたの安全地帯にいるんじゃなくて、私のところに近づいてほしいと主がおっしゃってる。Leave your safety space and come to me. それが私があなたに抱いている計画なんだよと主がおっしゃる。Because that's the plan I have for you, that's what he's saying. ね、私たちはついついこの思考で経験と常識で動,動きやすい人です。We tend to rely so much on our experiences and the things we know. でも主は、ね、来あの実はシズコールチャージね、来年、えっ、ー、と、教会開拓20周年なんですよ。Actually,、um, the His Call Church is turning a 20 years, a 20, 20th anniversary next year. そして今年この街道が立って来年10年になるんです。And after we build up this, this building, it's been 10 years. なんかすごい記念すべき年ですね。It's a year that we have to celebrate. そして来今、来年のテーマとか来年についてあのリーダーたちと話してるんですけどもう来年はもう1年間セレブレートしようセレブレーションイヤーにしようという話が出ています。And we were discussing about the, the theme of the year with the leadership and we, we reached this、uh, conversation that we want to celebrate throughout the year. ね、ここまで主がしてくださったことを感謝して。Gratefulness from what God has been doing to us. でもこれから主が来なさいっておっしゃるところをねみんなでね本当求めて祈っていってほしい行きたいなと思っています。But I really want to encourage you to pray to go to where God is leading us to. 今週、まあ、そういうことを踏まえながら今月ずっと来年のことをずっと祈っています。So this、uh, month has been, I've been、uh, praying for next year. それでなんか自分の感情とか経験から来,来年を見るんじゃなくて本当に主が来なさい主がおっしゃることを来年にもっとこう近づけていきたいなってこうずっと考えて祈ってたんですね。In my mind, I was always thinking that I 今週、先週の日曜日、永井先生がね、魚を捕らえる150ね、3匹、次4匹目にヒズコールはね、捕らえていくんだって話をなされましたけど、すごい励まされました。And last week, Pastor Nagai came and he、uh, preached about the, the fishing of the 153、uh, fishes and he, and he was saying, like, let's go and reach for the, the 154、uh, fish. で本当励まされてそして次の日あるカフェに行ってあのコーヒー飲んでたらそのカフェの川に魚がね川なのにめちゃくちゃピョンピョンピョンピョン跳ねてる川があっちの方にあるんです行ってみてください I was really encouraged by this word and, and during that week I went to a cafe where there was a river and in this river there was so many、uh, fish but they were like just jumping like so many 
fish. And actually, I like fishing. It's amazing when you can actually catch. Anyways, I was watching a message on the fish. I was like, I was、uh, preparing the message and I was all the time like, looking at the fish and I was like, what was the name of the fish again? Like, I was trying to remember it. And then the next day, I was going to go to the next day, and the fish was going to go to the next day. And then the next day, I went to another place, there was a river again, and when I saw the river, there were so many fish again. And I was like, what fish is this? ね、this, this passage was like knocking in my heart the whole week. It's time for the harvest. It's time for the harvest. And I was like, in my, my heart was not really jumping in, in joy. Just like Peter, I was scared. Am I going to be okay? Is my net going to be secure? Is really, I going to be able to fish all those fish? I was scared. I was scared. And then I was praying to God, God, I, I know you were speaking to me, but I'm still scared, I'm still fearful, so please speak to me again on a clear way tomorrow. And then the next day came three, three days in a row. And the place I, be, I went, I, for a coincidence, there was another river in there. But there was no fish in there. And I was like, oh, maybe it was a misunderstanding. で、なんか、もうメッセージを見しながら、イエス様3回目同じこと語る予定で私は来ましたけど、語ってくれる予定でいましたけど、あれ魚いませんけどつって。So <笑> You shouldn't be relying on and expecting the fish. You should only prepare the river. If you prepare the river, the fish will come. I was like, let's bring a river to the church. <laughs> like, yeah, we want to like, just go and swim. In, but that's not what he was talking about. It's the, the river of the Holy Spirit. The, the river of the living waters will bring life, will, is the place where the fish is. And then I received this scripture. Ezekiel 47:9. これ書いてないんです。It's not in the note. Ezekiel 47:9. メッセージ準備終わってから与えられたからね。I received. I just received. ちょっと聞いてほしいです。Ezekiel 47:9. Ezekiel 47:9. この川が流れて行くどこででもそこに群がるあらゆる生物は生き、非常に多くの魚がいるようになる。この水が入るとそこの水が良くなるからであるこの川が入るところでは全てのものが生きる。Amen. And whenever, wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish. For this water goes there, that The waters of the sea may become fresh, so everything will leave where the river goes. Amen. Amen. I wanted to seek for the Holy Spirit. Seek for Jesus who can give you the living water. If you, you just give it away, people will leave. 
In a church where this river flows, the fish will come. And it's already happening. Actually, the other day, a, a woman came to me with a testimony. There was a woman, she had a problem uh, in him, his, uh, her breast. And because she was a foreigner, she couldn't go to the, uh, the Japanese doctor and understand them, so she was only praying for it. Only praying. And last Sunday, she, she said to me, I had this like a tumor thing in my breast. And now it's done. It's gone. Jesus healed me. Whenever the waters of the waters, there's miracles go. It's not up to us or what we can do. Don't doesn't even need our own purity. Because we are always going to sin. He heals and works and, and purifies us when we are sinking in this living water. That's why we have to leave the boat of our common sense. We have to leave the boat of our own experience, of our I know it all. Not following someone. But going and following him wherever he is calling us. Let's pray. Please stand up at your feet. Let's have a moment to pray. Please have a moment to pray for uh, by with your own words. What is the boat in my life, Jesus? You can pray for it. Am I looking for the miracles or for the looking after, like going after the miracle maker? What is the direction you're going to? Are you walking towards Jesus? Try to pray for it.
から出ることに恐れてる人がいたら祈りましょう。ね、願う人いたらみんなで祈りたいと思います。May my heart turn away from the storm and May I have the certainty that you will reach out your hand to me and pull me up from the situation. Give me the courage to just to take the first step in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. もう一つ教えてください。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作った方を信じたい。私を愛して作
イエス様の愛と神の恵みと聖霊との交わりが一人一人にありますように私た,ち私たちを必要なところに必要な人に使わせてください。イエス様のお名前によって祈ります。イエス様に会いましょう。神様と、メテシ、セクエタ、イニシエシン、オーケーナクシュー、